Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this really cool looking social media post design using Pixlr X. Pixlr X is very easy to use design tool which helps you create super amazing designs in just a few clicks. So with that said, let's see how to use Pixlr X and how we can create this cool design. Alright, so here we are on the pixlr.com. So we will be using the Pixlr X. So I'm going to go right here and click on start a design project. Now, right over here, I can jump into the template section and it consists of a lot of different templates that I can straight away use and start editing. So it's going to save you a hell lot of time. But if you want to create a custom template, you can anytime create that. Talking about templates, they have a lot of different options which you can select like Instagram stories, YouTube thumbnails, YouTube artworks, you know, Facebook post design, Facebook stories, Pinterest, Twitter post and a lot more. But we will be creating our design from scratch. So I'm going to go back to home and click on create new now because we will be creating a social media post design so i'm going to go with 1080 by 1080 but there are a lot of different presets that you can select from like photo social media web print and video and right over here i'm gonna rename this to pixlr x tutorial all right and it's going to be a social media post. So I'm going to click on create. So now here we are in the Pixlr X editor and the complete UI is very simple and straightforward. On the right side, you get the layers panel. So this panel will consist of any elements that you will use in your project. And on the left side, you get all the different tools that we can use to create our project basically and all the properties of the layers that we will select in the right section. So first of all, let's start by creating a background. So I'm going to click on this plus icon and let's create a shape and going to make this as big as our background, just like so. Let's go right here in the fill and let's give it a nice lightish bluish white color to our background, which looks pretty good. Now I can click on this three dots and we get a few options here. Like I can lock the layer. I can make this, I can hide this layer or keep it visible. So for now I'm going to lock this layer because this is our background and I don't want to move it. Now let's go right here in the arrange and style and let's add a frame. So I'm going to keep it like so. You can adjust the size of the frame by simply clicking and dragging the frame by using the handles. Now I want to add some images to this frame. So right in the left section, you can see we get a lot of different options. Like we can change the way the shape looks. I can make it rounded corners. I can keep it normal. I can even add an image to this and that is what exactly I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and I'm going to select this image. Now you can click on this position image button and then you can position position the image accordingly the way you want. You can scale this up, bring that down and you know, make it perfect. And then you can also change the position of the frame itself if you want to. Pretty simple and easy. You can also add some outline. So I'm going to keep it very nice and minimal outline and give it a white color just like so looking pretty good. You can also add a shadow, which is pretty awesome. And we get all the controls to control the shadow, the way our shadow looks. I'm going to increase the blur. Let's increase the distance and also change the direction like so. And let's bring down the opacity. Going to keep it a very little. So it, it's going to help us to add some depth into our scene, which is looking very, very nice. So let's place this right over here and I'm going to hit control C control V to copy paste this. So we have another copy. I'm going to scale this down. Let's make, place this somewhere around there. And now we can change the image. So I'm going to go right here, set image and add a different one. So let's add this one. Let's hit control C control V again. Place this one right over here. All right, let's select this, click on set image and let's add a different one. So I'll add this one. Now, if I want to add more elements to my design, I can jump into the 
I can jump into the add elements or image section. So we get a lot of different elements that we can use to enhance the complete design. So as we are going with a photography workshop theme, I'm going to click on this element to add it. And there we go. I can scale this down. You can, you know, adjust it like that and make it as big as our image, just like that. And then I can just, uh, add a little bit of rotation so I can hold this circular handle that you see and I rotate it just to make it look even more cooler and also I'm going to rotate this particular images as well just to give it a nice photographic look and I think I'm going to keep it at the top so I'm going to move the first image at the top of these two images so this looks much better to me. Now to add our text you can also jump into add text section and there we have a number of different presets to choose from if you want to go with that. But because we are going with a much more minimal look, I'm going to go right here in the layer section and we can add a text just like so. And we get all the properties to customize our text right here. So first of all, you can either change your text from right here. So I can type this dope studio. All right, let's change the paragraph alignment to right. Bring down the size like that. And for the font, again, we have a lot of options to choose from but i'm going to go with arial font one of my typical favorite font and let's increase the size of the text a little bit like that gonna place it right over here all right now if i want to i can simply hit ctrl c ctrl v to copy paste it let's go right here increase the size of our text and let's type in the main title of our design so i'm gonna type in the photography workshop I think the size is way too big so let's bring that down like so. Now with text we have a lot of different properties to choose from like we have curves, we have circle option you know and a lot of cool options that you can play around with like we can add a background, we can add an outline, we can also add a shadow which looks pretty nice by the way. So this is going to be our text. Now I'm going to add some details regarding our workshop so I'm going to simply copy this text from here. And we can hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, pull this down right here, double click and Ctrl V. And then bring down the size, keep it very small like that. And we can increase the line spacing. Also going to make this one bold. And we can adjust the paragraph like so. Let's keep the size to around 12 and increase the line spacing. There we go. So we have added a detail. It can be anything. It can be our address of the workshop of the workshop venue or something like that. And finally, let's go right here and add a shape. So I'm going to add a rectangle and, and I'm going to use this as a line basically. So let's place this right here and I'm going to color this up. So let's go with a nice um, yellowish orange color like that. It's way too vibrant. Let's go with a much more darker tone. All right, copy this, hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and let's, oh my gosh, and let's move this right here at the bottom. So there we go. Now there are a lot of different things that you can do using Pixlr. For example, I can also add an image. Uh, let's use maybe this image. It's way too big, I think. So just to show you guys, what we can do with this, you can adjust it. So we have all the different controls to, you know, edit your image and we can also add cool effects with some pre-made presets. So, you know, you can see the preview right over here directly. So it's going to save you a hell lot of time. You can directly apply effects from here, which is pretty cool. I think also we have the liquify tool, which is pretty awesome. I can select the liquify tool to adjust the image and you know, create some really weird looking designs. So yeah, you can do a lot of different things with this. Then we have the retouch tool using which you can do spot healing and whatnot and you know, get rid of any spots if you want or you can get rid of the complete face I think if you want to. By the way, this uh, spot healing tool works really well, you know, but you get the idea, you know, there are a lot of different cool options that you can try it out. For example, if you get the premium version, you can get access to some really amazing tools like the 
glitch tool using which you can create some awesome glitch effects you can add fake depth of field using the focus tool you can use the dispersion tool to create some amazing effects so there are so many amazing things that you can do now to save this design it's pretty simple all you have to do is click on save you can select whether you want to save it in low res medium or high and just click on save and boom there we have our design ready to roll ready to post on our social media platforms so that is how you can use pixlr x to create some really amazing posts or you can use the free templates that they offer so i would definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out the link is in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out